Okay, yeah, hold on. So, all right. Competence, excitement, optimism. Who are these people and what have they done with the Democratic Party, right? I don't know what's gotten into them, but it's just been home run after home run lately. The most recent one being Tim Walls. I love Tim Walls. You know, they said Kamala's got to find a way to appeal to the Midwest. Yeah, well, she just picked the most Midwestern man in all of existence. You know what I mean? I just, he seems like he's got a calendar on his wall where every month is a picture of a different kind of tractor. You know what I mean? I, I bet he ain't missed a state fair in now on 40 year. Uh, you just know he can make a tater tot sing, baby. He bleeds ranch dressing. This man is the Midwest. But seriously, dude, Tim Walls, he checks more boxes than a hypochondriac filling out a medical history form. Like, you mean, you mean to tell me that this dude is a military vet football coach who stood up for gay kids in the 90s? Like, forget vice president. I want him to be America's papaw. Give me some advice. You know what I'm saying? Like, seriously, like, what are they going to say about a guy like that? You know what I mean? Their whole narrative for a while now has been, you know, that liberal men are just a bunch of purple-headed soy boys who want to turn kids into cats and outlaw cheeseburgers, right? That's what they say. Then this some waltzes in, carrying a hunting rifle and a dead turkey, just all shucksing them into submission, talking about feeding kids and minding your own damn business. Put that shit in my veins man and then, then meanwhile all the alpha males are out here trying to convince themselves that really the puffy headed couch wearing guy liner is the real man of the two it's just oh, i'm so fired up i love it so much and speaking of jd you know walls is chomping at the bit to get after his ass you know he's ready for him and for trump like, look, if anybody knows how to handle petulant dipshits covering for their own insecurities by hurling playground insults it's a man who taught high school for 20 years okay he's already proven he knows how to handle them he's the one who came up with calling them weird and that worked like a charm immediately they lost their minds they were just like mom the pedo cuck snowflakes are calling his names and they didn't know how to handle it they were just like we weird we're weird what Oh, what, because we want to monitor women's periods and do wiener checks on 12-year-olds at track mates? That that makes us weird. Okay, like, the whole thing is just chef's kiss awesome, man. It, it really does feel like something special is happening here. It feels like we're coming together right as they are falling apart for the first time in a while. It feels like people on the left are not just willing to vote against Trump. They're excited to vote for this ticket. The vibes are palpable. The energy's through the roof. All we got to do now is keep this momentum going, y'all. And like the man himself said, and I'm paraphrasing here, 90 days ain't sleep when you're dead, baby. Let's get it. Love y'all.